Uh, hi, my name is Alyssa Moreno. Uh, I'm a mechanical engineering major. And I'm Chris Niebanks, and I'm a behavioral neuroscience major. So my grandfather has Parkinson's disease, and so uh, I noticed that he had a lot of trouble drinking things without choking, and I went to a lot of doctor's appointments with him, and doctors always saying, oh, you can't. Uh, Parkinson's disease patients aren't supposed to use straws or have lollipops or anything like that because they can cause aspiration pneumonia. And so, see, I looked this up and then I realized there needs to be a solution. So, I guess inspired by the idea of wanting to do, wanting to give people back the ability to do these simple things, we kind of came up with this. This is our current prototype and basically we wanted it to be uh, entirely mechanical design, simple to use, simple to put together, easy to clean. So it basically consists of four parts, the, this cover, this base cup, the inner bag, and then this platform that uses, that moves the inner bag up so the liquid volume decreases. So when your platform's up here, there's this much space, all the liquid is pushed, concentrated in that little area, and so you only have to tilt the cup up a little bit as opposed to all the way back like this. And if they're tilting all the way back like this, then their head's going to be tilted back, and it's more likely that they'll choke. Kathy, one of our group members, uh, she took this prototype to a senior center in Petersburg to get some comments on it, to hear about how people were feeling using it, and all in all it was pretty positive, and we actually got some really great feedback to change the designs, and it's just things like this, like hearing from the um, users and what they would want to see that kind of will improve our design.